Welcome to my lab, the lab of doom. Two more victims from my lab today. Ah, oh, dang it, Mike. Another day with T.A. Alex. What lab are we doing again today? Oh man, we're doing titration curves. Oh, that means we have to do everything precisely today. Dude, don't worry. We're gonna do everything so perfectly that he has nothing to punish all right, us All right, for. let's do it, let's do it. Yes. Why are you standing around? You better get to work now. All right, let's get to work. I'm gonna measure out three grams of KHP. T.A. Alex, did you know that the KHP is kept in the desiccator so that it doesn't become hydrated? <laughs> Don't think you can get an A by sweet talking to me, boy. And let me teach you some respect. Mike, pay attention. Oh, yes. You better get exactly three grams or I'm, I'll destroy I'm you. Trying. Actually, it doesn't matter if you get exactly three grams or not because what you measure right now is going to be calculated into the calculations later. Uh, well, uh, you guys are off the hook now, but I'll be watching you. Okay. Let's go on to the next step. We need 50 mils of DI water. First. You better have exactly 50 mils or I'll obliterate you. Um, yes, sir. I'm going to rinse, pre-rinse this beaker. And then dump it into this waste beaker. All right, 50 mils. Hey, Alex. You actually don't need to have exactly 50 mils of water because the water actually doesn't even play a part in the reaction. Oh, uh, well, uh, you guys will make a mistake soon enough. Alright, 50 mils. Let's add the KHP. And a stir bar. Let me also add some phenolphthalein so that we know when the endpoint is reached in the titration. Yes. Two drops is good enough. All right, Mike, we need to add in some NaOH into that burette right there. Remember to pre-rinse. Help me pre-rinse. All right. Alright, let me ready? see. I see that we have about 24.24 milliliters. Got it. Alright, now I'm gonna attach the burette to this clamp here. This drop counter is used so that we measure the exact volume of any OH that goes into this beaker. Also, I'm going to attach this pH probe here so that I constantly measure the pH as the, the NaOH is being added into this beaker. Right. Hey, don't forget about Logger Pro. Make sure that the drop counter and the pH probe are um, connected to Logger Pro interface. And make sure that the Y axis is set to measure the pH and the X axis is set to measure the volume of NaOH. All right, we're ready to go. I'm going to turn this stir bar so that the solution will mix evenly. Okay. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna turn this knob. I'm gonna turn this knob, and then you're gonna press start. Okay? Okay. All right, one, two, three, go. go. Oh, the volume is going down. Very nice. Oh look, oh. It's, it's turning pink. All right, and, and, and it's not the final volume. All right, all right. I see it's at 38.97. All right, now I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let this reaction run to its fullest. All right, looks like the titration is complete. Once it's done, you should get a graph looking like this. 
at the spike point, you can you, you can tell that it turned pink, and we let it run for a little longer so that the titration graph will be complete. Okay. All right, you want to do this again? Yeah, let's do it All right, again. let's go. What are you guys doing? Why are you doing it again? You're wasting so much material. But, but wait a minute. In the lab report, it told us to do it three times so we get good results, and this is what Dr. Edwards says, and she's your boss. Do you do not know this, the, the procedures to this lab? Aha, uh -huh. you want us to tell Dr. Edwards about your... Your ill methods? No, don't you dare. Then get out of here and let us do our magic. Mike, it looks like the titration is complete. All right, we finished it three times. Nice. Good job. Oh, look at this perfect lab. What? No one has ever done a perfect lab. Ah, oh, I'm melting! Ah, we did it! Alright, so now that we finished with the, the lab, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the standardization of NaOH. Remember, I started out with 3.021 grams of KHP. I need to figure out how many moles that is, so I do dimensional analysis and say 1 mole of KHP over its molar mass, which is 204.23 grams per mole, multiply it by the, the mass of KHP I had, and I get 0.0147 moles of KHP. Now we move on to the NaOH. I started with 24.27 mils of NaOH and I ended up with 38.97. So I take the difference of this to get the amount of NaOH I use. And this amounts to 14.7 milliliters, which equals 0.147 liters. And so I have to figure out the molarity of NaOH, I do x moles. NaOH over 1 liter times 0.147 for the amount of liters I used and this should equal 0.0147 moles cage moles and I just solve for x here and if I solve for x then x should equal 0.1 so we know that the molarity is now 0.1 mole over 1 liter, which equals 0.1 molarity. So now we figured out what concentration of NaOH we were using.